squad bill what's up water babies wish popping what's going down in the life of a squad bill thank you thank you thank you thank you for the month of april 2019 <laughs> are we working on ourselves and truly looking at ourselves as the beautiful creature divine beautiful divine creatures that we are <laughs> <laughs> hey boo hey it's your first time to my channel I'm okay. also if this is your first time to my channel look out because let me cuss a little make cuss a lot just depending on what the hell these cards say oh but I'm a cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing Okay, uh, this will be for my summer rise of Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio. Um, to my returning subscribers, what's up, family? Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We are a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We do that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we evolve. Okay, we enlighten one another. We're family. Posy vibes only. All right. Thank you. Excuse me all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, you guys. I'm sorry I've been away. I've been battling tonsil stones. They still here. I know y'all like oh, Mocha, really? Yes. For those of you who are empaths, you will possibly be feeling if you feel something going on with your throat. It is I. <laughs> the tough one <laughs> pushing through. Okay, we gotta get these April videos up. I'm an Aries and I ain't gonna lie. You know, we don't let small stuff, even our health, hold us down. So y'all pray for me. And we're going to keep it moving, all right? Uh, this will be um, just, it, it is a general. It's not personal. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description box. Okay, take what resonates. Please leave the rest. If that shoe does not fit, do not make it. If that shoe don't, if, if it don't fit, don't make it. Because if it's too big, you're going to fucking fall. And if it's too little, <laughs> eat hurt. Eat hurt. It's not for you. Let it go, all right? So let's ride. We're going to start with the intuitive messages <clears throat> that I did pick up while I was meditating on the energy. Okay. So for the month of April 2019, intuitively what I got for Scorpio was understanding, starting over, forgiveness, compromise, financial windfall. Yes, I receive it. Come on, Scorpio. New love, letting go, abundance telepathy, soul contract, blind faith, blessing in disguise, yes, ego death, perspective shift, transformation, past life, heart chakra, detox, purging, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, root chakra, Sag. All right. So, if any of those messages do apply to you, if you're dealing with any of those signs, this message is for you. All right. Your angel message for the month <clears throat> comes from Archangel Raggio. It says, "Divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlining order." Okay, so things are definitely not happening for you. I'm sorry, they're not happening to you, but they're happening for you. Okay, some of you guys, I don't know why I get strong, strong Libra vibes from this reading. Some of you guys can have Libra in your chart, but I definitely feel like there's a balancing act happening. I'm also seeing a rope, like it's a push and pull, like a like a tug of war. And I also see someone letting the rope go as if like someone doesn't want to fight. It's pretty much like treating somebody like your child. Like, okay, you win. Um, I'm literally hearing you win and laughter. Um, some of you all could, some of y'all could definitely be having issues when it comes to expressing yourself. It's like you're 100% in tune with what you feel, but you don't really know. It's like sometimes for you to need the words or for you to speak the words to express to someone or regarding something, it's like they get stuck as if like you feel as if, um, as if it's like childlike, as if you can't express yourself. Some of you all, um, I don't know why I'm hearing it's so hard to say goodbye. Some of you guys could be releasing someone. I hate to say, I hate to speak about death, but some of you guys could also be experiencing um, 
either the after effects of someone passing either late March or um, or just releasing someone who has crossed over to the other side, but you're really having a hard time doing so. Premonitory. Some of you guys may be having premonitions or could have premonitions regarding death um, and that you could be finding that out or really kind of coming into um, coming coming into agreement with it as far as the soul or kind of agreeing um, with the fact that that's kind of how your intuition works or how your premonitions work. Some of you all may be during this time dreaming about things like <laughs> some of y'all may be dreaming that you like killing your spouse. Or that like you are, um, and these are for people who I feel like want to leave the spouse, but like they don't want, like it's pretty much like you don't want to be seen as like the bad guy. I also heard Capricorn, so some of y'all could be, this could be going on with a Capricorn. Her Libra, thank, thank you. Some of y'all could also have a Libra moon or a rising, like you have a hard time with making a decision or for pretty much expressing, expressing the final decisions in which you make. You want everything to be fair for all, fair for all, fair for all, because you want everything to be fair for everyone involved. Some of y'all, some of y'all are dealing with someone who drinks, but the reason why this person, you're arguing with this person about drinking, but the reason why this person is drinking is because they have a mediumship ability that, they, that they're resisting, they're running from. And this is why. So some of y'all are thinking somebody possibly has a mental illness, but this person is really going through a major spiritual awakening, and spirit is kind of forcing you guys to be separate. So let's get it. All right. So during this time, Scorpio, some of you guys could be possibly healing issues around your father. Some of y'all may also be finding white feathers that your ancestors letting you know that they are amongst you, they are with you, they are helping you along your path, okay? Uh, some of you guys could also be seeing a lot of frogs, which, sim which simplify some type of abundance, financial windfall, also great wealth, great health. Some of you guys could actually see, um, your, your, some of you guys could also be like, I put it, some of you guys could also be getting ready to sign some type of deal, and the, your confirmation on if the deal is going to go positive is that is that green frog. Like if a frog crossed your path on the way to sign some type of contractual agreements, um, it's a sign of abundance. Some of you all in the month of April are really needing to get out near water. Spirit is really calling you guys to get to the water. As as that as as it's gonna help you assist you with manifesting as well as healing any um internal conflicts within yourself that you really are not letting go or not releasing during this time you're holding on to. It. Some of you guys could also be um you could be a father or you could also uh, be trying to work on a relationship or work on um coming to some type of harmony within or or expanding on a relationship possibly with your father okay or with the father of your children there is some type of healing that needs to go on and it's, it's the breaking it's the, i'm seeing i'm seeing um of the wheel turning but i feel like it's like the breaking of cycles and either you or your spouse's family yeah for some of you all you're communicating with someone that you really want to work on yourself some of you guys could also be working on your own garden during this time planting some of you guys have a spirit animal as well that is a squirrel. Please look up what the squirrel means. I believe it stands for, um, is it the harvesting? Harvesting? Y'all look up and see. Yeah, some of y'all have, some of y'all told an animal is a squirrel. Some of you all may be trying to, some of y'all, you want to heal a relationship with either your father or the father of your children. However, this person could be like a fast talker. Or you have this fear of this person like trying to finesse you or get over on you in some kind of way. Or maybe this person has done that. Like there's an apology that needs to happen in order to expand on a relationship. For some of you all, you have a massive awakening happening within the pineal gland. I definitely feel like some of you guys could, some of y'all could actually have uh, be going through some type of an awakening with like a the opening of your third eye. And I feel like if you want to hone those abilities where you don't Kind of like be in this place of depression or feeling as if something's wrong or being in this place of like kind of feeling this like anxiety or paranoia. Spirit is wanting you to get outside. 
A lot of you all are very, are very much so in an abundant place. Red is going to be your color for the month of April. Red and green. There's a focus on the heart chakra with this green here. For some of you all, there's a conversation or, or some type of union coming to coming into fruition. Okay. For some of you all, this has to do with the divine union. It's, it's kind of like being overseen. This could have to do with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be a new father or be newly pregnant. But it's like this baby is a blessing. It's going to bring some type of end to cycles as well as some form of stability. For some of you all, this is actually like a blessing for the seeds that you've sown in the past and actually take answering the call to work on yourself to actually focus on your life path and your spiritual ability. Spirit is lining things up for you. There's a balance in that happening. And for some of you all, it's setting you up for great abundance in love as well as in finances. For those of you who um, manifest using either like feng shui or some form of like dragon rituals, some of you guys connect with dragons or some, I'm um, saying train, some of you guys train dragons. And this may be an aspect of yourself that you really don't want anyone else to know. So you kind of keep that side of you tucked away. Some of you guys are extremely mystic. However, you just kind of wear a mask because you don't want to be judged or perceived as evil by other people. And Spirit is saying you really need to go more so during this time, more so with your emotion than your intellect. Okay? Don't overthink it. Just trust what you feel. Some of you all are empaths. And I feel like you fuck up when you get the overthinking shit. Okay? But there's a need for you to take off the mask and live in your truth because for some of you all, you've been spiritually gifted since you were a child. There's this purity, this renewal, this rebirth happening. That's why you're seeing all them damn dragonflies. Some of you guys could also be, um, some of y'all have a, is a something, something about this crescent moon. Some of you guys have a massive download coming, especially if you're working with any type of water goddesses. Hmm. Some of y'all have the gift of healing other people. However, you feel as if it's going to hurt you in the long run if you share that with other people. And Spirit is saying it's a part of your life purpose and your life call. And to pick up the damn phone in the month of April and answer the call because we as light workers need you in the community doing your doing your thug miss. Okay. Some of y'all are sages. Your soul has lived here many, many, many times. And I feel like you have this all-knowing, however you keep things to yourself. And Spirit is, uh, Spirit is saying there's a shift that's occurring. There's something that is within you, within your DNA strands, that is kind of causing you during this time to be more vulnerable. This is why there's a focus on the throat chakra and speaking your truth, living in your authenticity, which will ultimately bring you abundance. Especially if you do any type of, like, uh, work with you that requires you to speak, like public speaking, music, um, any type of like vocal artistry, empathic work, spiritual teaching, healing work, healing sessions. Some of you guys, I'm also seeing, um, have some of y'all have been having, some of y'all are having repetitive dreams because spirit is literally trying to lead you into your life path. So you're having those, some of y'all may be having a lot of repetitive dreams during this time. Especially if you're dreaming that you're having conversations um, regarding contracts as well as endeavors that are around your life path. Okay? So let's hear it. That's your spirit message. <clears throat> then what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio? Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the month of April in love. Scorpio, what can they expect in love for the month of April? First card out. Yeah. Some of you guys may feel uh, stuck or trapped in the situation, okay? You feel as if you kind of stuck with both hands. Pretty much you stuck and you kind of stuck sitting on your hands. This could involve a Piscean. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys may feel stuck in a situation where... Some of you guys may feel stuck in a situation where you really want to release yourself from it. However, there are some boundaries that need to be set. This could have to do, um, or some of y'all feel like you're stuck in a hard, stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to dealing with the air sign as well. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I definitely feel like someone is, you feel like this person is overly defensive, okay? For some of you all, for some of you all, in order for things to move or get moving when it comes to love matters, especially if this could be involved in another fire sign as well, every field Sagittarius, I feel like in order for things to move forward, there needs to be vulnerability. There needs to be um, boundaries in communication. There needs to be clear boundaries set. Okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, hmm, some of you guys, this Aries, this Aries new moon, <clears throat> is definitely going to bring you some form of enlightenment, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or another Scorpio like yourself. For some of you all, the reason why the situation is stuck because this person possibly has to cut off a fire sign, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, but for some of you all, some of y'all actually may get cut off by a water sign or may be kind of in your head about cutting off a water sign. I feel like there is passion there, but as far as the connection, you know, I feel like things are not moving. You feel as if things are stagnant. And I feel like you're making a judgment call during this time. You're making a judgment to release yourself. Either I'm going, either we're going to move forward passionately and cut the bullshit and where you make me feel as if I'm not enough or feel, feel as if, you know, you're too busy for me. Which ultimately may, may cause a damn uproar. Somebody may not like that shit. You know, ultimately, ultimately. But I definitely feel like these are conversations that is truly needed to be had. Some of y'all may be cutting off the air sign due to the way that you guys communicate. I feel like either you or this other person is in and out the other person's life. Yes, there is passion, but there is this feeling of abandonment or someone feeling as if, you know, I can't get over what you did to me in the past, which is why we can't move forward, even though both of us are passionate about one another. Um, <clears throat> some of y'all are dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, that kind of wants to play the victim. And I feel like... You just really kind of want to focus, move forward and just focus on the things that you're passionate about. Yeah, moving forward. For those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like, again, there is a lot of passion in this. Someone possibly do, someone could possibly have some type of codependent issue where someone drinks too damn much, smokes too damn much, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you feel as if this is affecting your stability in some sort of ways. So you want to move forward and focus on the things that matters to you. You want to focus on growth. For some of you all, some of y'all, you have someone coming back from the past, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who wants to move forward, okay, who wants you to make a judgment call to choose them, because you could have been the person who made this person feel as if they weren't enough or feel as if um, they were going, like, overlooked. Hmm. And for some of you all, the reason why this relationship can't move forward is because someone just will not stop living in the damn past. Some of y'all have a fire sign that's resisting moving forward because this person has a fear about, they have a fear of how things will actually go. I feel like in the past, you or this other person could have made the other one feel abandoned or left out. And this person is kind of stuck on if they actually want to close the cycle or if they actually want to move forward and start a new walk away, move away from what once was in the past and trust what things could be offering their cup of love and starting over and having that renewal. But there's an issue of trust here. For some of you all, you could be dealing with an Aquarian, another um, Scorpio, Taurus or Leo. I definitely feel like for those of you who are dealing with fixed signs, some of you all may be cutting somebody off and moving forward simply due to the fact that this person is giving very little to the relationship and ultimately you know what you desire. You know what it is that fulfills you. Which ultimately is this King of Cup type of love. Ultimately this Ten of Pentacles. I want love and stability. Okay? And I'm not fucking with this Eight of Swords in reverse. I'm not fucking indecisive about what the hell I want. I know what fulfills me. You need to get your fucking life, you know? And that's what Scorpio is telling somebody during the month of April. Get your life, because what I'm not going to do is keep sitting here playing with your ass. You want to stalk, but you don't want to talk. You want to watch somebody is definitely watching someone, stalking another person. For some of you all, this could be a Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aquarius. And I feel like you're on the brink of new love, okay? Some of you guys have new love, but you're really needing to release a karmic partner from the past where things are stagnant. There is no change. There is no progression. There is no growth. So you have to release these people from your energy because they're just sucking on your shit like parasites. 
keeping you stuck, kind of like the crab in the book of the fit. Scorpio, tell the motherfuckers they will get about me in the month of April. We not doing that, all right? So my best advice for you all would definitely be to definitely trust your intuition. If you know that things are not moving, fuck what a person is saying. What are they showing you? If they're showing you that they're coming with the bullshit, believe them, okay? And act accordingly. That don't mean you got to act no damn fool. It just means that I'm going to cut out. I'm, I'm going to pull out my sword. I told you once. I told you twice. Three times, you fucking out. Three strikes, you're out. Period. I'm not going to sit here and keep repeating my damn self. Who gets paid for that? Nobody. Scorpio, you're not with the shits for the month of April. I definitely see some of you guys um, <clears throat> could definitely be dealing with the controlling earth sign as well. Capricorn towards regular, this person could be trying to control the way that love flows with they with their pockets, with their money flow. I know Scorpio, like I ain't got a problem with that, but for some of you all, you might want to move forward to possibly an Aries person with this food card, take a leap of faith. Okay, towards having something new with this person after possibly leaving someone out in the cold. But you're kinda in your head about it, you haven't really made the decision. Even though there is stability there. But there definitely has to be a rock another boat before things can get better. All right? So this is what I have for love for Scorpio for the month of April 2019. If you guys need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. You guys, I'm going to be working on this damn throat. I love you so, so, so very much. I send you all many blessings, much love, much peace, and namaste. Hit me up. I'll see you guys mid-month. Bye, boobs.